Welcome back guys to another video on the channel, another video for you guys, another potential series that I want to bring to the channel, something that I have been thinking about the last couple of days, and that is how many coins can you actually make within one hour. So of course you see titles, you see you know comments, how many coins can I make, what's the best trading method right now. So I thought you know what, I'm going to choose one trading method and I'm going to be using that method for one hour and see how many coins I can make within that one hour. But just a quick disclaimer, if you only make 10 or 20k in that one hour, it does not make that method a tr bad trading method. Of course, depending on what time of uh, day you use that trading method, of course, that tra trading method may be best suited for a later period of time, like during that day. And of course, if you've got more coins, maybe you're able to make more coins because you're able to buy more players. Just So just a couple of things like that. But one rule that I want to say for this, it is within that period of time, that one hour slot I'm going to be trading, it just matters how many players I buy. I do not have to buy or sell that player in that one hour period. So if I buy 20 players within that one hour period, then we will base off the profit off those 20 players. I don't have to buy them, sell them uh, within that one hour, just because of the fact that, you know, some players do take longer than others to sell. So the first trading method that we're going to be using for this one hour sort of video is going to be, well, it's not going to be one hour for you. It's obviously going to be clipped, but of course it's not going to be, you know, we're going to be looking at the special 100k, 120,000 buy it now um, method. So pretty much if you haven't done this method or, you know, you've done this method before, pretty simple. You you search the filter and you go through players have got open bids and then you'd look at on foot bin what player is going for what price. So of course the market has taken a little bit of a hit lately. So player prices have dropped down and they're not as, uh, as high as they were when I sort of made this video how to do this method a couple of days ago so to stay good on foot being goes to around about 85k he's got a current bid of 84 so of course it's not great so what we're going to do we're going to set a timer on our phone i'm of course going to show you of one hour and we're going to start it from right now one hour and see how many cards we can pick up so just over one minute into this challenge we've actually picked up an immobile 89 rated for 51,000. 500 so according to a foot bin of course this is how i determined if i should buy this card or not this card was is going for around about fifty-eight thousand coins so picking him up for fifty-one thousand. of course we're just going to sort it's going to be quite uh, choppy sometimes we might do it live but yeah fifty-nine thousand coins this card goes seems to go for we picked him up for fifty-one thousand five hundred. so that's obviously a very good deal so guys just a quick update we're approaching the first 10 minutes the end of the first 10 minutes of the challenge as you can see We've done, what, 58 minutes technically, but we've picked up a Edison for 54,500. Going by Footbin, of course, I know some of you guys have had success with this method, so I'm trusting Footbin's method um, and prices. This card has been going for around about 58, 59k today, so picking up 54, hopefully make a couple k there. Zlatan Ibrahimovic that we picked up here, which at the moment I think is the best deal. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, we it, we have won him. It has actually expired, but it's just absolutely glitching out. At the moment, he's going for 100k. So even if we sold him at 100k, we'd make 3k. But he's been going for around about 104 to 105,000. So we're hoping to make around about 6 to 7k. We have got a bid on this Harry Kane. So Harry Kane, again, 91, goes around about 73. So if we're able to pick up this Harry Kane for 67, we're able to make 3 or 4 uh, K. So unfortunately, we haven't been um, we have been outbid. So we're going to bid again. And this is what I'm going to do, guys. Sometimes I'm going to keep it live. Sometimes I am going to keep it, you know, a little bit choppy. So I think I'm going to go 68 is the maximum I want to go. Um, let's just double check again how much he has been going for. 73K, 67. So this is the max I want to go. So he's outbid me. That's unfortunate. Now let's move on. So 47 minutes remaining of this. How many coins can you actually make in one hour? We tried picking up a couple more cards. Unfortunately, we got outbid. Tried picking up a Jesus, a Kane, a Gamero. We tried picking up this name Golan who goes around about 120k, but you know they just keep bidding on him. So 13 minutes in, we've picked up a couple of cards. What we're going to do now is again go back into the filter. Hopefully it refreshes and just see if there's any cards that I like the look of. So let's go over to Footbin. So this Gabriel Jesus goes around about 40k. So we know that's not a great deal, right? Sterling. I don't think this Sterling. This Sterling could be could be good. So Raheem Sterling. What you do, you go over to Footbin and then you'd have a look at his graph. So he goes for today. He's gone. Apparently, the highest he's gone for today is 96,000 coins. So what we're going to do, we've bid 86,000. I know roughly in my head what the highest I want to go, maybe around about 88,000. But if we're able to pick this card up for around about 88 uh, to 87, 88,000, after tax, we could make like three or four K, which wouldn't be too bad. So 88,000, 
is my highest bid I think it's going to be because 96k would be is his peak price today. You know what? We'll do one more. 96k. We'll make around about 3k. And of course, this the the profits normally would be a bit larger because it's sort of a challenge. How many coins I can make in one hour? I may be willing to accept like smaller profits just because of it is a kind of challenge. And of course, they will eventually add up. So if we're able to pick up this card for uh, 89,000, if we sell him at 96, even at four o'clock in the morning, he was actually 98. So he fluctuates between the, the 90s to 98. Maybe we can pick up this card for 89. We'll probably make around about three or four thousand coins. So we've picked him up for 89,000. I'm going by a foot bin that I'll be able to sell him for around about 96,000. So I've probably made around about 3k. If I sell him at his top end of 98, maybe I'll make more four to 5k. Right, just over halfway there, 37, seven, 37 minutes left. We've just picked up Luis Suarez for 100,000 coins. He has been going for around about 110,000 coins, but we did pick him up in a hunter so what we're going to do i'm actually going to do a live sort of uh price check to see how many coins we could potentially make i think we'll be able to make around about 5k after tax so let's just see how much there is, if if there is an inform hunter so as you can see there is no hunter as uh, louis suarez under 110,000 coins so we're going to up it so we're about 115 so we've got around about 115,000, 114, 113. so i'm expecting it to be able to sell for so there we go. We've just picked one up for 95. We're gonna, I'm going to be able to sell this card for around about 100, 110,000 coins. So this will also be including, included in uh, the method, um, this, this deal here. So now let's carry on. Halfway through now, guys. An update I've got for you. Picked up a Harry Kane for 50,000 coins. Should be able to sell him for around about 56k. So that would be around about 3.5 to 4k on that card. We picked up this Diabala for 70 he should be able to sell for around about 79,000 coins. We have got a Carver Howe here on bid with 47 minutes remaining. 47 minutes, 47 seconds remaining. So what we're going to do, we actually, we've bidded 60k. We're actually going to look how much this Carver Howe goes for. Because he goes for around about 58, 59. But I took the chance because of the fact that he's in the shadow. And we know all know how much shadows cost. So let's just see how much it actually costs for a shadow. 65k. So we'll probably make around about 1.5, 2k. Not the greatest, but I suppose it does uh, total up to the total coin tally at the end of it. 20 minutes remaining, guys. We've probably just got our best deal in regards to profit. We've just picked up an Angolan, um, the central version, for 105,000 coins in a shadow. We're currently trying to bid on this sterling as we do it as well. We'll try and go 83,000. Again, this card should be able to sell between 93 to 96,000. So if we're able to pick him up, but anyway, the cheapest on the market um, Nangolan in a shadow, I'm just going to show you here now, is around about 125k, I think. So obviously picking it up for 105k is pretty decent if you ask, my, if you say so myself. So let's just have a look quickly. 125k. Let's just see how many shadows uh, in a central position. Then go. So there's one here at 125k. Is there any others? There's one here at 125k. And there's also one here at 125k. So three 125k. We picked them up 105k. So, so that is probably so far the best deal. Into the last 15. We're still grinding. We've picked up one or two deals since we last updated. We're just going to have a look at this Areola. We're trying to also trade with some new new cards, but the new cards, especially like the Winter One to Fresh, because they're new, obviously there's a lot more demand on them. Therefore, they're a little bit harder to trade with. So 43k. So after, after tax is about 41. So if we can go maybe 38, let's try and put in a cheeky bid at 38,000 coins. Of course, guys, always got to remember the EA tax. Okay, we lost on that on that bid because they bidded 40,000 coins. Let's continue. Let's see. Let's have a look at Ricarlison. No, we won't look at Ricarlison. He's an 82. He's probably less than 20k. Let's have keep going. So this Cornet we picked up already for 35k. He should be able to sell him for around about 40 to 42k. Uh, called into Footbin, he's going for around about 41,000 coins as of right now. So today, he's the highest has been around about 43k as a peak. So we're going to put put in. Um, we're going to put in again. We're going to try and see if we can get him for around about 35k. Someone has bidded, so we're going to up that bid to. 37? Someone's bidding 42k. What are you doing? You're ruining my bids. Like, let's just keep continuing. And this is all you got to do, guys. If you want to trade like this, just continue cycling through players. And what we'll, what we'll do now, we'll just, I'll update you as we go along. So, guys, just a little bit over 10 minutes, around about 13 minutes left, two minutes from our last update. We've just picked up this Deli Alley for 102k. I've sold him before, like yesterday, 
and the couple of days before. I know the market has dipped down. The cheapest shadow at the moment is around about 110k. So I'm going to try and sell him for around about 112 to 115,000 coins. So that's pretty decent profit. This to Stegen as well. They were just slapped a 59k bid on. He was going for around about 66k. So let's just have a look right now. What is the cheapest? Apparently the cheapest is right now is 66k. So if we're able to pick him up. Burnout, he goes around at 39, so we get lost out on that one. He goes around about 34, 35, so again, 33,000 coins isn't great regarding tax-wise. Let's see if we win to Stegen at 60,000 coins. Let's just double-check. His peak price today has been 68,000, and then he has dipped down to around... His lowest point today was 55k. So you see what I'm talking about, price fluctuations. If you're able to pick cards up at the lowest, you're going to make some decent coins when you can sell them at their highest. So we've won this card at 60,000. Footbin has said that he ranges between 65 and 68. So I'm going to try and go for the top uh, top part of that price bracket and try and see him for around about 67k, which should wield us around about 3 to 3.5k profit. So almost approaching the final five minutes. We've got just under seven minutes. We've picked up a Stegen for 60k. Again, should be able to sell him for 66. We've picked up this Firmino for 135k. His uh, peak price today has been 147, as well as that Hunter card should hopefully make sure we get that 147 buy price. We've picked up a card for health for 60 again. Should be able to make around about 66, maybe 2 to 3k on that card. This Oblak, we've been outbid. We want to bid on that one. And because Oblak goes for around about 80k, after tax that would be 4k. So that wouldn't be too bad coins wise. We have been outbid. So we're just going to double check how much he has been going for to see if I should continue with the bid. So 80k. So his 80k has been his peak today. So apparently there is one or two on the market at 70k. So it might be worth actually going on the market and maybe just buying these individually. But of course that ain't a part of the challenge. So I'm not going to do that. But as I was saying, we have exactly right now. Just under six minutes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and buy as many cards as I can in this time frame. And then we'll see you at the end. We have exactly one minute and 30 seconds remaining. Can we win any other bids? That would be absolutely fantastic. We're going to have a look at this Werner. We're just going to, you know, filter it out till the end. So 87 Werner. What can we say about this? So apparently he has been going for how much today? So apparently it's around about 105k. That's not the greatest. Yeah, 105k. So him being at 100 isn't the greatest. How long have we got? So we have just over a minute. Oh, my God. Right, okay. Edison to, to Stegen. Right, this to Stegen. It's going to be very tight, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to get another deal because, obviously, by the time we actually win this card, so to Stegen for 80,000 coins, what can we say about this? It goes for, yeah, 81. So let's put in 70. Let's put in, yeah, let's put in, like, 72. Let's put in 72k. That won't be too bad after tax. Corn it. We're going to try and win as well. I know I can sell, sell him for 42. Unfortunately, they've just been bid, bidded up to 37. Is there anything we have? Literally 42 seconds remaining. It doesn't look good for us. This card goes for around 74k, but it's got over a minute left, so that there's no point in bidding on that. Is there anything else? No, unfortunately, there isn't. So, literally, the last, last chance saloon, guys, is literally, can we pick up another card within the time frame? So, this to Stegen is at 81. This card has sold for 70 2000 and Lewis Dowski has sold for We tried picking up for 145k, but again, he goes for around about 159. Someone bidded up to 147. Of course, the price isn't exactly great. There is less than 10 seconds at five past two in the afternoon as I'm recording this on a Wednesday. So, literally, the team of the week is out. And as you can, one hour has gone. And I'm going to show you what cards I've won. So, guys, in total, we have won. I think it's 19 cards within the hour. So we've won this a mobile for 51k. It's Edison for 54. Slatan Ibrahimovic, hopefully selling for around about 105 to 110 for 92k. Sterling for 89. Lukaku for 30. Should be able to sell him for around about 35. Again, this Luis Suarez that we actually picked up on a snipe as well while sort of checking his price. So let me know, guys, whether I should count that towards the profit. I am going to, just in case, you know. Because we did win him whilst we was looking for him. Well, anyway, we should be able to sell him on for around about 110k, making 5k. Making around about 3k here. Uh, around about 4k here. Picked him up for 60,000. Should be able to sell for 66. His Cornet, 35k. Win a refresh card. It looks like a very good card, by the way. Absolutely a standard card. Very good agility, very good balance. We ended up picking him up 35. Should be able to sell him for 42. Nangolan, probably the best deal in regards, regards in profit. We picked him up for 105, selling for 125. 
Coutinho picked up for 47. Should be able to sell for around about 52, 53. This Deli Alley picked up 102. Hopefully, sell for around about the 115k mark. To stay again, again, 60k, 66,000. So as you can see, guys, we're trying to make those two or three k profits because they do all count. We win. We won this Roberto Firmino, should I say, for 135k. Our target price is around about 100, 147 to 149,000 coins, making around about six to seven k. I'm hoping again. Those 60 to 66k range players, Carver Howe again, 60,000, very good. Um, Iago Aspas again should be selling for around about 80k. We picked up this Fabino, which was our last deal of this sort of ep episode in regards to this video. So we picked him up for 82k. He doesn't have the greatest chemistry style on him, but his peak today is around about 90,000 coins. So I'm hoping we sell him at that top range of 90,000 coins because that will be again around about three and a half k. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm actually going to go away from this and calculate the total profit. 